Let's pray now, shall we? Well, here we are again, Father. Some of us in church, some watching on screen, but all wanting to hear from you and to praise you together. Thank you that you are with us wherever we are. We do bring our sacrifice of praise to you because sometimes we don't feel like praising, but you are worthy and we declare this now. You are the sovereign God, the almighty creator. You have everything in your control and we are so thankful. Sometimes, Lord, if we're honest, we wonder what is happening in this world. But we ask this morning that you will enable us to look beyond this world's mess and catch a new glimpse of you and your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it is right. I have to agree with you that it is a sacrifice of praise that we offer, particularly right now, because I really am fed up of these restrictions and not being able to see the family. Yep, I, I agree with you. But, you know, we've been married for over 46 years now and throughout our lives, in all our ups and downs, we have always but always found that there is hope in the word of God. It is relevant today. And I'm sure we can find something in the Bible to encourage us right now. What about that lovely verse in Romans chapter 8, verse 18? I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Wow. Yeah, we mustn't forget that this is just a temporary thing. There's coming a time when we're going to be with Jesus in heaven. As that song says, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Indeed, it will be. And, you know, Tim's favourite, one of Tim's favourite phrases when he's uh, speaking, when he's uh, giving a sermon, is that we need to see things in the light of eternity or have a, an eternal perspective on things. And I think that's what we need now. As you said, our situation now is only temporary. Yeah. Let's look at another verse, Romans chapter 15, verse 13. And this is the verse that comes just before the verses that Andy's going to be preaching from. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's from Romans 15. And verse 13. And did you notice that we had the, the word hope twice in that verse? And that reminds me of a song that we've recently learned at SEC, Jesus Christ, my living hope. And I would just like to read the bit in 1 Peter that I think probably that um, song was, was based on. And it's 1 Peter 3, um, uh, verses 3 to 7. And I just think it's worth reading the whole lot. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even through, though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Amen.